If you're a first time real estate investor in Dallas, Texas, or just considering the idea, you have come to the right place. In today's video, I'll be discussing tips and strategies for finding the perfect rental property in Dallas. Let's go. Hey everyone, I'm AK with the AK Realty Group, and I help people buy and sell homes all over the Dallas Metroplex. If you're looking to purchase an investment property, make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I'd love to chat with you and help you come up with a game plan that works best for you. The first step to finding the perfect rental property is to research the Dallas real estate market. Dallas is a diverse and growing city with plenty of investment opportunities in various neighborhoods. To begin your research, consider these key factors. One, property values. Keep an eye on trends in property values in different neighborhoods. Look for areas with consistent growth, which could indicate a strong demand for rental properties. Two, rental rates. Research the average rental rates in different neighborhoods. This will give you an idea of potential rental income you can expect from the property in that area. Three, employment opportunities. The availability of jobs is a significant factor for renters when choosing a location. Areas with strong job markets tend to have higher rental demand. Four, amenities and transportation. Renters typically look for properties close to amenities such as shopping centers, parks, and public transportation. Ensure that your property is in a convenient location. Now that you have a better understanding of the Dallas market, it's time to set a budget for your investment. Your budget should include the purchase price, closing costs, and any necessary renovations or repairs. In addition, consider ongoing costs such as property taxes, insurance, and maintenance. When it comes to financing your rental property, you have a few options. One, traditional mortgage. A conventional mortgage is the most common financing method for rental properties. You typically need 20 to 30% down payment and a good credit to qualify. And banks require at least a minimum of 20% for an investment loan because they don't want to carry PMI, okay? For primary residents, you can get away with a lot less, but for an investment loan, they require 20 because they're not going to carry private mortgage insurance on it, right? The PMI. Two, FHA loans. First-time investors may qualify for a Federal Housing Administration FHA loan, which requires a lower down payment. However, FHA loans come with specific requirements such as living in the property for a certain period, okay? Three, hard money loans. These short-term high interest loans are typically used by investors who need quick financing for a property. They're easier to qualify for, but come with higher interest rates, all right? And then four, private lenders. Private lenders such as friends or family members may be willing to provide like financing for your investment, this option can offer more flexibility, but may come with higher interest rates or additional terms. With your budget and financing options in mind, it's time to narrow down your property criteria. Consider the following. First, property type. Single family homes, duplexes, triplexes, fourplexes. You know, they're all popular options for rental properties. Each has its pros and cons, so weigh your options carefully. I specialize in helping my investor clients purchase single family homes as rental properties as those have shown amazing results in the Dallas market, all right? Second, neighborhood. As we discussed earlier, consider factors such as property values, rental rates, employment opportunities, and amenities when choosing a neighborhood. This will help you find the location with strong rental demand and potential for appreciation. Third, property condition. Are you looking for a turnkey property or a fixer upper? Be realistic about the amount of work you're willing to put into a property and the potential return on investment. Fourth, property management. Will you manage the property yourself or hire a property management company? This decision may impact the type of property and location that you choose. Now that you've established your criteria, it's time to start your property search. Here's some tips to help you find the perfect rental property in Dallas. All right, number one, work with a local real estate agent, all right, like me. A knowledgeable real estate agent familiar with the Dallas market can be invaluable to your search for a rental property. They can help you identify promising neighborhoods, set up property showings, and negotiate the best price. Two, use online resources. There are numerous online platforms where you can search for rental properties in Dallas, such as Zillow, Realtor.com, and Trulia. These websites provide comprehensive property listings, market data, and neighborhood information. Three, network with other investors, join local real estate investment groups, attend meetups, and connect with other investors on social media. Networking with like-minded individuals can help you learn about new opportunities, shared experiences, and gain valuable insights. Four, drive around target neighborhoods. Spend some time driving around neighbors that you're checking out to get a feel for the area. Look for for sale signs, vacant properties, or properties that could use some TLC. This hands-on approach can help you uncover hidden gems. 
Once you've found a few properties that meet your criteria, it's time to analyze each one to determine its potential as a rental investment. Here's what you should consider. Cash flow. Consider the estimated monthly rental income and subtract all expenses, mortgage, taxes, insurance, maintenance costs, etc. The remaining amount is your cash flow. Aim for a positive cash flow property, which means your rental income exceeds your expenses. In different market conditions, you know, it's gonna be different, right? You may not cash flow as much, you might be neutral, you might be negative sum. So there's a lot of different things you have to analyze, all right? Next is your return on investment, your ROI. Determine the annual ROI by dividing the annual cash flow by the initial investment, which includes down payment, closing costs, and renovation expenses. A higher ROI indicates a more profitable investment. Next is appreciation potential. Research the historical appreciation rates in the neighborhood and consider the potential for future growth. A property with strong appreciation potential can increase in value over time, providing additional profit when you sell. Next is vacancy rates. Investigate the vacancy rates in that area. High vacancy rates may indicate a lack of rental demand, which could make it difficult to keep your property occupied and generate a consistent income. Once you've found the perfect rental property in Dallas, it's time to make an offer. Work with your real estate agent to negotiate the best possible price and terms. They can help you navigate the process, which may include submitting a written offer with your proposed price and terms, conducting inspections and appraisals to ensure the property is in good condition and worth the agreed upon price, securing financing and providing proof of funds, and reviewing and signing the necessary contracts and legal documents, right? And closing the deal and taking ownership of your new rental property. Congratulations! You've now learned the tips and strategies for finding the perfect rental property in Dallas, Texas. I sell a lot of rental investment properties, so if you're thinking about buying an investment property and don't know where to start, shoot me a text, send me an email, or click on the link in the description below to set up a call with me. Let's chat about some options you may have. No pressure, no sales tactics, just the help and guidance that you need. Now watch this next video where I go over one of the hot spots to buy a rental property in Dallas right now. I'll see you on the next one.